Hey everybody, Larry Beans Baxter here with the Kenai Bigfoot Research Group. Uh, we're at Dolly Varden Lake, not far from Sterling, Alaska, and uh, we're going to spend the night here tonight. Uh, just turn you around here so you can see. See all that? There's a fire burning over there in the refuge, and uh, I'm hoping it's going to push some wildlife this direction, and uh, it might give us a good chance for an encounter. Uh, the last reported sighting in the wildlife refuge here uh, was during the Funny River Road fire back a few years ago. So uh, I'm hoping this fire might give me an opportunity for some activity. It might uh, push some things out of the deeper woods. So uh, I've got my campsite set up here. I'm going to do some fishing. Uh, my wife and son are going to join me here in a little bit. And uh, we're going to spend the night here and... Uh, See what happens. Uh, maybe I'll record some more later, maybe I won't. Kind of depends on what happens. Um, anyway, hang tight and uh, hopefully uh, we'll at least uh, get some video of some wildlife or something. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's an eagle up there. There he is. He's riding this wind. Probably waiting for me to catch a fish so he can steal it. I haven't had any luck fishing. There's some loons over there. Every now and then I've heard them call. That's pretty cool. But uh, so far, no fish. It's still pretty early in the afternoon. Um, tried some fishing. Didn't have any luck. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna do some regular camp and stuff, you know. Uh, we're gonna eat dinner, do some fishing. I'm gonna. But what I am going to do tonight, uh, I'm going to set up a couple of trail cameras around the camp. See if uh, see if anything comes through. You never know. Even if we got a bear, that would be pretty cool. So, we'll see what happens. Just act like normal, everyday, regular campers. And uh, hope something uh, is curious enough to take a look. Uh, you can see, I'm going to move you around here. Smoke still billowing over there. I'm a little worried the wind's actually kind of blowing in this direction, so uh, I think we'll be okay. It's far enough away that I don't think it'll reach us tonight. We're only staying here one night, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep an eye on it though. I think uh, if it got very bad or started heading this direction, they'd have uh, the park rangers or uh, Alaska State Troopers or somebody would come and and tell us to get out of here. So. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we make it through the night without having to uh, to move camp, get out of here. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm gonna hang around here for a little bit longer and uh, do some more fishing. And when my uh, wife and son get get here, we're gonna we're gonna eat and uh, fish some more. Should be uh, daylight till about 11 o'clock midnight. So we've got plenty of daylight and. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to take a nap and maybe get up in the middle of the night or if I'm just going to stay up uh, late and then maybe sleep in a little bit tomorrow morning. I, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do. It kind of depends on how I feel tonight. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But let me give you guys a little, uh, a little tour here. This is uh, the Dolly Varden campground. There's a couple of spaces here, space over there, and uh, this makes a big loop. Uh, but this is one of the this is one of the best sites, the one that I have here, uh, just because it's uh, really close to the water. Uh, the campsite is adjacent to the water, basically, and uh, I really like how close the other side of the lake is over there. I'm gonna set here in my camp chair tonight, and I'm gonna use my thermal camera over there. See if I can see anything peeking at us. Like I said, best case scenario, I see a Bigfoot. Worst case scenario, I have a good time camping. So I think it'll work out no matter what. All right, so it's a little after uh, 6 p.m. and uh, <clears throat> just been fishing and enjoying the view. Uh, some people showed up with some young kids. Uh, they made a lot of noise that 
got my hopes up a little bit. I was hoping that uh, that might uh, solicit some activity, but so far nothing. Um, I was uh, down there fishing just a few minutes ago, and uh, I just got this feeling like I, somebody was watching me or something, and I I couldn't shake it. So I turned around, and there was a squirrel standing in the middle of my camp, looking at me. And he ran off. I didn't get a chance to get a picture of him, but uh, I'm I'm disappointed it was just a squirrel. But at the same time, I'm uh, I'm glad my my sixth sense is still working, <laughs> even on something as small as a squirrel. So um, my uh, family should be showing up here in just a little bit. They're going to bring us some food, and uh, we're going to have some dinner, and uh, they're going to fish some, and uh, they're bringing the dogs too. So that's that's going to be interesting. They're gonna, they're gonna stay in the tent with us. Of course, they're not gonna be left out for the bears. So I'll, uh, I'll update uh, as we progress and uh, as things, if things happen, and uh, we'll go from there. Maybe uh, somebody will catch a fish. But uh, I've been fishing off and on since about two o'clock, and uh, I haven't even got a nibble. So uh, either I'm doing it wrong or there's no fish here. I'm not sure which. All right. All right, so it's about midnight, and uh, we still got a little bit of daylight left here. It's going to get a little bit darker, but uh, here in a little bit, the sun's going to start coming back up. So uh, we're my family got here. We had some dinner, and now we're clearing this uh, far shore over here. Haven't had any luck so far, although we did see a, a mischievous squirrel in our camp. But, uh, no luck on the fleer, uh, nothing but uh, loons and birds as far as um, audio goes. So uh, we're gonna stay up a little bit longer and listen and keep an eye out on the fleer. Um, still some people driving by. We got uh, some noisy neighbors that moved in next door. Uh, that might be a good thing, maybe uh, something will get curious and want to come and take a look so uh we're gonna stay up a little bit longer and fleer and uh keep our ears open and we'll uh document anything if it happens all right so we're all packed up we woke up about uh 9 30 this morning i uh stayed up till about 2 30 last night and listening and <clears throat> fleering uh the shore over there and didn't hear or see anything, but uh, that's the way it goes, I guess. If you guys look, remember yesterday how smoky it was over there? Looks a lot better today. I don't know if the fire got knocked down or if they're just, uh, maybe the wind shifted and it's going a different direction now. But anyway, we're packed up and uh, we're heading home. Uh, pretty much empty handed. I, I did get some videos on my trail cameras but I'm not sure what it's gonna be I know uh, we had some people come in and move next to us last night so I, I think I'm I got a lot of video of them setting up their camp so we'll uh, see when we get home all right guys if uh, I don't have anything good on the trail cameras uh, this is it then so uh, see you next time